The reason this flowchart is so big in the first place is because the whole point is when you've got stationary points, you have to make a choice. Now that you know about the first derivative and the second derivative, you can choose which one to use. And one is sometimes better than the other. And that's what this box is here in the middle for. Okay? Um, why would we uh, try to use the second derivative? And the answer is, if you get a function like um, the ones we've been having a look at, if they're easy to differentiate, then you can avoid doing a table of values. Do you remember that? Um, if you get a derivative and you pop it in, right, and you're like, oh, it's positive. Done. You've got a minimum. Or it's negative. Done. It's a maximum. No table of values required. I don't like tables of values. They're time consuming. I've got to draw stuff. I've got to put in lots of substitutions and all the rest. If I can avoid them, I will. Okay? But sometimes you don't want to differentiate again. right? If your function looks, for example, like this. I'm just going to give you an example. Maybe you want to draw this, uh, write this with me. Have a look at this function. right? Um, I don't want to differentiate this again. Can anyone tell me why? What, what rule do you have to use to differentiate this? You must use the question rule, because it's a question. And then it becomes this like garbled mess. You're like, uh, you know, once this is the first, this is just the first derivative, right? I'm going to do, I'm going to do v u dash. Here's v u dash minus uh, u v dash all over v squared. I've got to simplify that, and then I have to differentiate again to get to the second derivative. I want to avoid that at all costs, right? So basically, I'm going to say, don't differentiate again, just use the first derivative. You already got it, just go with it, okay? So what's my question? Let me get this guy out of the way, because it's gross. My question is, is your function easy to differentiate? If your function is easy to differentiate, then, then do it. <laughs> differentiate again, use the second derivative, and then off you go. Okay? If on the other hand, like this example I've just given you, and quotients are the most common example of this, if you look at it and you're like, I really don't want to differentiate that again, it is not easy to differentiate, then don't differentiate again. Do a table of values. Even though tables of value take time, it will still be faster than going through a second derivative. That says no. Okay, so this is the main thing that guides you towards one or the other. Is it easy to differentiate? Then do it. If it's not easy to differentiate, then don't. Use the derivative you've already got. Okay.